at Harris and Ross, we, we do podiatry a lot differently to uh, the way that I guess I've seen podiatry done in, in the United Kingdom. We like to have much more of a holistic approach, so though my focus is really on, on the lower limbs and, and the feet and the ankles, I guess I can work really closely together with uh, some of the physios that we have here and we, we just uh, put our heads together for, for our clients to make sure that we overcome any concerns that they might have. What I look for when, we're, when we take people through the examination, we really want to see how the entire kinetic chain is moving. So we don't want to just focus at the foot or just at the knee or just at the hip or just at the back. We want to see how that all works in union. And I think sometimes people, people miss that so that if someone comes with a knee problem, they might just focus solely on the knee, whereas the knee is actually stuck in between, in between your pelvis and your foot. So if you're a little bit unsteady at the pelvis, that can affect your knee and same with with your foot if you're a little bit unsteady at the foot that can affect things further up we got to look at the shape of your feet and and the mobility of through some of the joints and and the tightness through the muscles and then i get to have a look at the shape of your feet while you're standing on them and and weight bearing through them and this allows me to analyze how your feet work when when you put some weight through them i think a lot of athletes don't actually realize how important footwear and foot stability is um, and you'll see people running in in trainers that they've had for years or or you know just running in an inappropriate trainer for them now there's hundreds of trainers out there and it's really hard to tell you know which trainers right for you um, so you can even just pop in and and i can take you through a video gait analysis have a look at the shape of your feet and identify the the correct shoe for you So what I'm usually looking at is stability, okay? If you lack stability, that's when problems can occur. And if we follow the line of your shorts here, it's like the level of your hips, okay? And that should remain pretty even when you're running. And so what we see is, see how things just really drop down here? And if we have a closer look here down at foot level, what we see is a really, really big angle. So your foot's really rolling in. We see quite a lot of your toe so you're running with your foot ducked out and your foot's rolling in and your bum's not strong enough you're lacking a bit of stability at the pelvis so your knee just wants to drift into the middle there and that's not really a great alignment and that's going to cause problems either at your knee ankle or hip the feet actually are the foundation for the body so if your foundations are a little bit unsteady, that can, that can lead to problems not only at the foot and ankle, but further up at the knee or at the hip or even at the back. We've got a, a machine that captures the, uh, the imprint of, of a client's foot. Okay, so what we will do is, is get their foot in, in a, an ideal position uh, that's going to benefit them when they're, when they're walking and, and running. Um, and we'll, we'll take, a, take an imprint of this uh, foot and from there we can work with that to create some more uh, customized orthotic. The right orthotic is, is kind of like glasses for your feet, okay? And uh, same, same goes with a trainer, okay? I wouldn't necessarily just put on someone else's, someone else's glasses. So uh, it's, it's important to make sure that you just get fitted for the right, right shoe and the right, right orthotic. Just because a, a trainer is expensive doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be providing this right sort of stability for you. Um, a lot of a lot of money is also spent on on marketing issue. So sometimes a a trainer is going for more of a fashion uh, fashion styling rather than rather than actual sound sort of stability. It's worthwhile to come and see a, a podiatrist often, even if you haven't had a problem, you know, if you're going to embark on returning to sport or if you're trying to get fit, it's just almost good to come in and get a bit of an MOT and, and we can just make sure that we can spot anything that might lead to an injury later on. So if we can prevent that injury from occurring, uh, even better, okay, but if an injury does occur, we're here as well to make sure that we can, we can guide you through the, the healing process. People in the office often will experience the problem because they're not really wearing great supportive shoes and, and they may often experience a lot of pain either in their feet or, or knees or, or back. Anyone that is actually 
interested or even just interested in sports or, or returning back to sport or even if they're already uh, enjoying, enjoying sport whether that's at a social level, uh, an amateur level or at a professional level and if um, there's any sort of niggles that they might have it's always much better to, to just get them checked out and, and seen to and uh, just to make sure that there's nothing untoward going on and, and if we can prevent a further serious injury then we can do that for you.